So picking a web host is really hard and you don't want to pick the wrong one because getting your site together requires a lot of work and trying to move hosts just takes a lot of time and effort on your part, which no one wants to do. Um, so what I suggest doing is kind of checking stats of the hosts you're considering and seeing are they actually a good host? Um, do they have good page speed times? Are they reliable and have good uptimes? Are they going to respond to my support requests? Um, but if you can't find any of those stats um, on your own hosts, um, here's what I recommend doing. Um, one of the things you can do is find some hosts or find some sites that are on that host um, and run some tests on them. Um, here I have the Chrome DevTools um, uh, uh, console open by hitting F12 and you can uh, refresh the page and take a look and see how long is it taking for things to uh, be loaded. Um, this time it was 2.5 seconds. So here's how you're testing the, the page speed. Um, this time it was 1.1 1 .1, um, and 1.4. So this is a, a pretty fast host that I'm using right now which is, which is not bad. Um, uh, how I end up doing this on host benchmarkers, I use a tool called the web page test where you basically enter your URL and you can pick a, a location of where you want to be tested from and then you get pretty much the same output. Um, you saw this kind of waterfall from before. And it'll tell you the load time, um, time to first byte, how many elements are on the page, and so you can kind of um, get an idea of how, how quick a host is. So if you see a bunch of sites that are slow on this host, uh, try and stay away from them. Um, Again, it's going to be hard to compare apples and oranges because um, to get a real comparison you need to have the same content on the same site between hosts, which is the beauty of uh, Host Benchmarker. Um, we have copies of the exact same site on multiple hosts so you can get a real comparison. Um, but if uh, you don't have access to that data, then um, you're just going to have to make do with what you can. Um, to test the reliability, um, we use uptime monitoring. Um, you can use a tool like Pingdom or Uptime Robot. And what this basically does is just send a, a little request to the server every 30 seconds, every minute, or two minutes, and keeps track of how many times it does not respond back to you. Um, and so that's uh, reported back to you as a percentage uptime. So if a host is up 99.99% of the time, that's pretty good. If they're up only 99.0% of the time, um, that means they're down pretty often. Um, and then another thing you want to do is test the um, support of the host. Um, so for example, if I was checking out um, Bluehost, I could just um, search for Bluehost support, and here you go, here's our customer service. Uh, I call that number, see how helpful they are, see if you're put on hold for a long period of time, um, or see if the person you're talking to is competent and is able to answer your question. Um, I mean, you don't even have to have a real question, just um, you know, make up a problem um, and see how long it takes them to, to get it resolved for you. Um, so anyway, those are some of the techniques that uh, I use over at Host Benchmarker um, that you can use for yourself if your host is not listed.